Hi, I'm Mackenzie Evans. I'm a senior at Little Miami High School, and you're listening to the Woodhenge Podcast. Welcome back for episode six of the Woodhenge Podcast. I'm Mr. DeSanctis. And I'm Ms. Frederick. Thanks for being here. We have an awesome interview coming up with Mackenzie Evans. Um, And just a little bit of a spoiler alert, we had no idea... um, the honor that she had. <laughs> Literally. So, um, yeah, that's my bad. I researched it today. I didn't um, even know about it. I heard about it, but I didn't look into it because I was just like, oh, Mackenzie's doing another amazing thing. And on the whole, she was. Yep. And now we get to kind of get embarrassed that we didn't quite oh, know for sure. about oh, it. But um, anyway, um, we did spend some time earlier this week um, that I think is relevant as we head into the weekend with um, getting excited for the weekend, but specifically the food part of a mm. football weekend. Because I think I'm at the point now where like, I think I picked my college team for the year. We talked about oh, that a yeah. couple episodes ago. I think I got my college team, but I kind of don't really care because I'm mm-hmm. just picking a game that I'm making snacks for. Oh, good. And we're just going to... What's the team? Uh, I think I'm going to get on the bandwagon. I, I'm not normally a bandwagon guy, but I think I think I'm going to go Colorado um, okay. and Coach Prime because we were we have been looking at moving to Colorado for a couple of years. We almost mm-hmm. pulled the trigger on it. We're still here. Um, we spent a month in Colorado this summer. Right outside that of makes Boulder. sense. So I think like we're just going to go Buffaloes. Okay. I think that's going to be a thing. But again, I don't really care because right. I'm just going to make sure there's like. Food on the food. table. Yeah. My family group chat at this point on Sundays for the Eagles game is all just pictures of what everybody's <laughs> making to like eat with the game. And I think I finally realized that like football's just, like, not football about for, football. It's not about football. And I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. But uh, now the, the, the tailgate game, it's like we're, we're looking at what we want to do in October. And I was like, just call it like snuck, snack, snacktober. Snacktober. Uh, snacktober for Saturdays and Sundays. And like... Yeah. Eagles. What's your – I'm going to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I got to know. What's your favorite, like, go-to snack for sports in October? So, uh, especially during hockey season, we'll just do, like, a tray of nachos for dinner oh, and just God. do them up for the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but for football games, I normally I normally have four things on the table. All right? Okay. Follow me. You ready? Ready. Something that is a dip. Some Good. sort of a dip with vessels to dip. Nice. We don't dip carrots in my house. And then Same. something that is, like – a dunkable item with its own respective dipping sauce. Huh. Um, and then a baked bread of some sort. Oh. And then a dessert of some sort. Okay, normally bakes cookies. Huh. So like the last Eagles game, we did little pretzel bites and like really good mustard. Mm. And then did buffalo chicken roll-ups with some leftover oh. ranch that we had. Oh. Um, and then I normally mix in like some sort of like a flatbread or a stromboli or mm. not a salad. Um, not and a then salad. last time Kayla made some white chocolate lavender cookies <gasps> and we munched on them. Um, oh. And that was, I don't, I honestly don't, I couldn't even tell you the score. I don't even know what game we were watching, um, oh. but I know everybody was very full by the end of it. Wow. So I, um, I made, now mine is not going to sound nearly as but elegant. It can still be tasty. It was still good. We made, and by we, I mean I, <laughs> Velveeta block cheese. <laughs> Velveeta block cheese, and then uh, ground beef, and then two cans of Rotel. Yeah. And it was amazing. It was so, it was so, it was so like, you know that, that it's still stuck in my arteries probably. <laughs> like, it's not good. Like, that Velveeta, it's not real. And that's the, kind of the best part. But I um, did make a pot roast tonight that is still cooking that I'm going to eat throughout mm-hmm. this entire weekend. And I make a really good pot roast because it's so easy to make. Mm-hmm. You just throw it together. It falls apart. It's wonderful. And then I usually will try to make like a sandwich out of it for that. So the game Monday for the Bengals because that's the team that I unfortunately follow. And they... I don't know how to feel about it right now. I'm not sure if I could talk about it. I might get angry. So Let's anyway, angry. yeah, well, I'm not going to get angry. Um, but I, I'm going to make these sandwiches with it basically and do like a, like a something. See, I don't, I don't cook the way you do like well, but I, I try. For the record, nobody said I cooked well. I just cook a lot. Well, I feel um, like that's, I've, you cook well. Thanks. Yeah. 
um, I, I do kind of, I think Rob Mason, um, is part of why we go down this rabbit hole. Cause mm-hmm. ever since he came on the podcast, I've had a couple people go, Ooh, you like to cook. And I got to give a shout out to Robbie Bagley. Cause he came down he's like, you know, you're missing a whole clientele of like food people like mm-hmm. above you that you just don't talk to. Uh, and I was like, all right, we're, we're going to work on that. So we'll, we'll continue to branch out. I don't know if we need a recipe club or what we got to yeah, do. Something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Bagley's got a heck of a smoking operation. So if you're, uh, if you're one of these barbecue guys, kind of like I'm getting to getting to like that prime barbecue age nice um if you're a barbecue guy make sure you stop by upstairs say hi to robbie bagley um because he's got some he's got some good ideas we've, yeah we've been chatting a little or bit or you could be uh like me a good cereal girl right yeah cereal i mean nobody puts cereal and milk together better than better than miss frederick uh, seriously it's the best well anyway <laughs> makes me think of uh my potty and her uh, goldfish for lunch <gasps> Oh my God. Yeah. She perfect. has like 15 gold. She used to just eat them. That was her lunch. And I was like, girl, mm-hmm. not sustainable, but she, she's a champ. She's a champ. Speaking of champs. Yeah. Um, here comes episode six. Mackenzie Evans, Evans is here to chat with us about some of the fun stuff she's done. Girl state, girl national, and even how her cross country season has gone. You ready for episode uh, six? I'm so ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome back for episode six of the Woodhenge Podcast. I'm Mr. DeSanctus. And I'm Miss Frederick. And we are very pleased to welcome Mackenzie Evans onto Ooh. the pod. Hello. Hello and welcome. Thank you for having me. So your your sweatshirt kind of speaks to one of the big pieces that yeah. we wanted to make sure we mm-hmm. talked about. Um, because last year you were our you were Little Miami's first ever selection to what's called Girls State, which admittedly took me a minute to go, wait, Girls State, what? Kind of waiting for like the cross country or the <laughs> yeah. golf or something like that. Um, but it sounds like it was kind of a big something it was kind of a big deal and state was in june yeah state was in june and then nation was in july so tell us a little bit about like what that what that encompasses what that looks like what you guys are doing yeah so back in june i went to girls state and it was about a week and it was up at the <laughs> campus of bowling green and it was a really cool experience it was basically like we were interacting and running our own government, like oh. just like all of there's 550 girls that were there. So a bunch like all over the Ohio state and it was just like state level government. So I had to run, like I ran to be on the Ohio state Supreme court and you know, you had, I had to go through a lot of like rounds of like speaking in front of people, getting people to like, you know, try to vote for me. There was two different parties, Federalists and Nationalists. So I had to get, you know, the Federalist support and the Nationalist support. I had to campaign to a lot of people. And then we like lived in our own cities, like which were our dorm floors. So like I was in like Merritt City and which is like, she was like a really like famous woman for Ohio government. And um, it was just a really cool experience. I got to meet people like everywhere. So I was girl state. And then Girls Nation, they picked, so I had to go in front of this, these three ladies who were all presidents of like the American Legion Auxiliary at one point for Ohio. And I had to interview in front of them. I had had to create a bill, which I created to propose um, free school lunches for kindergarten through 12th grade. And then, yeah. Cute. I love it. (laughs) So applicable. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So I was like, I feel like it was like a pretty like basic, like one that like people can get behind. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I had interview in front of all of them, answer a bunch of questions. And then two out of the 550 girls got selected to go to girls nation in July, which is in DC. And, um, they narrowed it down to like eight people. And then I ended up getting picked along with another girl named Lily Luzader, which she lives up in Tiffin. So I don't think you guys know her, but, Mm -hmm. um, it was like, it was seriously the most amazing experience. Like when I was there, like I got to meet all these senators. Like we got to go, I was like in the Senate chamber, like watching them vote on like the defense bill. And like, I was like, there was a second I was like, I think I want to switch my career, but I didn't. I'm still, I'm still going for one thing, but I was like, it was seriously like the coolest experience ever. So girls nation, it was more like on a, um, like national government like level, not just like a state government. So I helped run like the elections committee. And then we actually had people like run for president. We actually had bills proposed and, um, we all like, cause each state had to submit a bill. We submitted mine and we all like, you know, everyone voted on it. They were proposing amendments and ended up passing. And like, I just got to meet people from like all over the state who were all interested in like like changing the government. It was so cool. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I didn't know anything about that. No, I, yeah, again, I was still trying to figure out what sport it <laughs> yeah. was when they said, like, it's, it's state. That's just... I feel like it's just like not really well known. I remember 
like apparently my mom went to it in the 90s and I had no idea until I came home and I was like yeah I think Mr. Moppin like recommended me for this she's like oh you have to go it's so cool and I was like what is it and she's like well it's like government she's like even if you don't want to go into government like it's just a good experience you should go I was like okay might as well you know what now that I'm thinking about it I actually okay this is going to be a weird question I don't know if you're going to know it but it'll help me yeah. figure out what I was about to say is one of, like, can you run for different positions? Like, this is going to be kind of morbid, but, like, for coroner and stuff? Yeah, there was. You could run I for I know coroner. what this is now. Okay. Yeah. Wait, there was a coroner, <clears throat> yeah. Because there's also, like, a little police system there. Mm-hmm. So, like, people were, like, speeding, which means, like, you're running on the sidewalks. Or, like, if you didn't have a rubber band on, that means you didn't have your seatbelt on. Because there was, like, a, kind of like a police officer state highway group at the same time as us that were, like, also doing that. Okay, so I remember this. My older sister also did state. I remember this now Mm because she was like, I tried to run for coroner and I was like, I don't even know what that means. And then she was like, but I ended up being like uh, elected for something else. And I was like, what did you do for a week? Where were you? Like, but this is so much more informative and I understand it now. Yeah, yeah. So there was like three different levels. So like it was like a city level, which was Mm -hmm. people on your floor. There was county level, which was three dorm floors altogether. There were three different counties. And then there was like state government, which you like ran for those positions. So like we had a governor and a lieutenant governor and all that stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so can I, I don't know if you know this, but like, what is the purpose of state and nation nation or national? Um, so I kind of think that the purpose is getting, first of all, getting, it was like a firsthand experience with government. Like a lot of the stuff, mm-hmm. like, you know, I read about how to study for it for AP gut <laughs> tests, but I never mm-hmm. actually like got to experience all this stuff. And like for three days, like I was on the Supreme Court and I actually had to like go through cases and I had to like talk about it with the other justices. And like there were other people who were like getting arrested for stuff that like we actually got to like deal with like real quote unquote oh, wow. people, <laughs> like real cases. I mean, it wasn't. And there was like an actual judge there that was helping like lead us all the all through this stuff. And I just like learned so much stuff, even if that's not exactly like what I want to be Mm -hmm. when I grew up. Like I just learned so much about our government in general and like how a lot of like the state stuff works. I'm a lot more informed. Yeah. And just on the like national level, like, you know, like I got to go in the Senate chamber. I got to go take a huge tour around the Capitol Hill, went to like the Supreme court. I was like, I got lost in a couple of the Senate buildings and I like walked past the vice president's office. Like I had to go through a million security clearances. Oh my gosh. It was just like, it was so cool. And I just think it was more like getting used to like what is actually happening. Cause a lot of people might not know what's actually going on. Yeah. I think that's really cool. How did this come up as an option for you? Is this something you like you looked into or is it something like Moppin or, or somebody yeah. mentioned to you? So I know that Mr. Moppin and Mr. Skidmore like put forth a couple, like a couple of people they thought would be a good fit for it. So I know there were a couple of the girls who went to girl state with me from the school. Emily Baylog did, Emma Pinson did, mm-hmm. Kyle Wolf did. So we all had to go to a American Legion post and we mm-hmm. all had to do an interview there, but for the ladies like that were there because, you know, they paid for us to go here. And um, I was actually the first person who went to Girls Nation from our post as well. So they were super excited. I'm going back in November to give like a little speech on like just my experiences and stuff like that. But um, we all had an interview and then us four got in and then, um, uh, in the application process, like we had to fill out a million like requirements. There was a paper that was like, do you, are you interested in girls nation? And I had no idea what this was. My mom was like, might as well try for it. Like, even if you don't get it, at least like it's an option. It's like, okay. So I filled up the forms. I submitted a bill that I had written in AP gov. Like I already had it. So mm-hmm. I was like, no extra work. And I, when I got in, like, I was so shocked. Like it took me like two minutes to like, oh. register while I was up there, like shaking everybody's hands. I was like, what is happening right now? That's <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. Wow. I'm, I'm so impressed right now. This is like, like so amazing. So even though, um, even though you aren't, I don't know, actually, what, are you thinking about going into politics or so like right now, what I want to do when I grow up is I want to be this thing called a genetic counselor. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. So I would basically like, you know, like test people's DNAs kind of like even like prenatal stuff, mm-hmm. just like test people's DNAs help like find genetic diseases, help them live with it kind of a thing. Like that, like science just really interests me. But when I was on Capitol Hill, I got to talk to Senator Sherrod Brown's Mm -hmm. staff members and they were like, they were talking to us and they're like, even like, if you have a different career, you can still like help lobby and stuff like that. You can still kind of help on the Hill. And I was like, that is something that would interest me, like helping to lobby for other stuff that is important. Yeah. So I would definitely consider that, but I want my dream goal right now is to go to Ohio state and study molecular genetics and get a minor in psychology and then get a master's in genetic counseling. Oh yeah, my that, that's gosh. It. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, <laughs> you want to run your own business while you're doing it? I mean, 
Oh my gosh, that's so impressive and awesome. Wow. <laughs> have you thought about, I know this might sound kind of strange, but like, have you thought about like joining like the Peace Corps or doing anything like that too? I haven't thought of any of that yet, mm-hmm. um, but I would definitely consider like joining other stuff to help branch out. Just like right now, I'm just, I'm still like learning about all this new stuff, Right, you know? of course. Oh my goodness. Because I didn't even know this was like even a, an available option until right. I went. It, like, it was so cool though. I remember when I was walking out of the like Senate chamber, I, we saw Bernie Sanders, like right, like 10 feet in front of us. And the security guard was like, you can walk past and wave. And so we all did. And he like waved back, but he was on the phone. And I was just like, I like, I didn't even know who half these people were. And everyone around me, you know, they were like, they knew every single like name, mm-hmm. like face. Cause we passed a couple people on the street and I had no idea who any of them were. I was like, I just want to get my Starbucks. I'm really tired. <laughs> That's so cool. I feel like we just kind of like jumped into this because obviously Frederick and I are a little fascinated by like, yeah, girl seriously, I'm like, girl that's national, awesome. Because it just sounds super, super cool. Um, that we, I feel like we kind of just like glossed over the fact that you're a senior in this building right, right now yeah. um, who's involved in other stuff. So, I mean, we're what, a month and a half and mm-hmm. over a month into school. Mm-hmm. How has your senior year been going? Is it kind of what you were hoping it would be? Yeah, it's been really good. It's my first year doing CCP and I really mm-hmm. like going home in the middle of the day. It is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like being here. Like, I don't know. It's like, I'm only here for four periods, like first, second, third, and then seventh. But the fourth, fifth, and sixth period is so nice. I get to go home and eat lunch and just Mm -hmm. like hang out. But senior has been going so good. Like the football games, obviously, like all the cliches, like I'm having fun. And senior like cross country season is super exciting because it's like, I'm almost done, but now I can enjoy it a little bit. Cause it's like every race is like, okay, this is your last time racing here. This is your last time racing here. So yeah. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's such an exciting time, but it's also like kind of a time of reflection yeah. and stuff. And you're like, oh, it's so good. No, right? seriously. Like one of my really good friends, she graduated in the spring that I always mm-hmm. ran with. Her name was Grace Biddle. And like, she, she was texting me all of these pictures. She's like, remember when we ran here together? And I was like, oh, now I'm like actually sad cross country's over, which I didn't think would happen because mm-hmm. it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a heck of a season season last year are you still tracking you still feeling the same kind of success yeah this year? i i made it to state last year which i was super excited about because the regionals course is really hard the year before i got 21st place and top 20 qualify so i was one place off so i was pretty sad about that but um this year i'm doing pretty good i got like third place in my last meet i've been getting second a lot I think I'm looking good, and I think I'll hopefully qualify again. My times oh my are gosh. dropping again. <gasps> That's so exciting. Can I ask what your events are? Yeah, so in cross country, it's a 5K. In track, we do, um, like, different – like, in my when I run track, I do, like, the two-mile. I do a relay, which is a 4 by 800 meters. I do, like, the mile. And I also do this one event called Steeplechase. I don't know if you know what that is. Mm-mm. It's kind of like – it's five laps, which is just over a mile, and there's – five hurdles and after one of them there's a huge pit of water it's a really strange event (laughs) oh my god yeah I've been I was two seconds off of qualifying for nationals last year so this year I'm really hoping just to cut two seconds off so I can get to nationals and uh I think it's in North Carolina I am just sitting here just absolutely astounded (laughs) because you're like oh yeah I run a 5k three miles easy you know I do this this and that oh my gosh that's crazy I have to ask do you do like any other races outside of it like in your personal time like um, a, a turkey trot or no, like I wanted to do the turkey trot oh, this year but so um I normally do a 5k on the 4th of July mm. I missed it this year because um I missed the deadline to sign up but I've I've done that since I was in fourth grade, I think oh, it's wow. like a really fun one. Um, and then I used to do a bunch of five K's and road races, but right now when I'm not running, I'm just like taking time off mm-hmm. and catching up. Cause I run seven days a week at this point and I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh, right. For sure. So you're thinking about going to Ohio state yeah. or you are going to Ohio state. Yeah. Um, so I actually, like an hour ago, submitted my application oh for my it. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. So I'm hoping that, you know, I get in, but mm. I don't think I'll find out until like probably January because it takes mm. them a while to get through a lot of the early application stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, so Ohio State is the plan. And then what, what was it again? Genetic genetic counseling. counseling. Yeah. It's kind of a newer field. Yeah. And it's kind of expanding with all the new technology that's been unlocked. But, what, what inspired you to go into that or um, look into that? Actually, so 
I was in freshman biology and for a while I was like, I want to be a sports medicine doctor because, you know, I go there a lot because I get injured a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of stress fractures freshman year. But then we entered in a genetics unit and Mrs. Cordini was like, you should like look into being a genetic counselor. And I was like, I've never heard of this before. And then like a week later, I went to my hair stylist and I was telling her about this and she's like, oh my goodness, my best friend is a genetic counselor. And then oh, I started wow. reaching out to other people who like had friends who were genetic counselors. And I was like, oh, this is actually a real thing. And so I like started researching, looking into it. And I was like, yeah, I could totally see myself like doing this and like being happy for, it's just like so interesting to me. I wouldn't like get bored of it. Yeah. I mean, I guess genetics change all the time, so mm-hmm. you're ever changing exactly. as well. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> well, we keep on science keeps taking steps forward. Yeah. I mean, more yeah. and more is getting unlocked. I'm seeing that even in my own in my own health. We keep being able to find out more and more about different mm-hmm. situations. It's oh, kind of odd. Sure. Three or four years ago, we didn't have answers to questions that that now all of a sudden we have answers to. It's nice. crazy. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> I wanted to dip back like two years ago because yeah. um, somebody planted a bug in me that you did a West Point Leadership Summit yes. of some sort. Having worked there, I know that that's like a big – their leadership is oh, what yeah. the place is, is built on. What was that? So, what was that like? I think it was last February or maybe this February, whatever that means. Um, I got invited to go to a West Point Ethical Leadership Convention. I went with another senior, uh, Tyler Stevenson, and we went there and for a little bit we heard speakers from people in the community. Like we actually, it was the Mason cross country coach that came and he talked about how important like leadership is, but also like good leadership, like not (laughs) using it, abusing Uh it. And then we broke into all these small groups and, um, the, my leader in mine, he was, he actually served during like the Iraqi war. And he was like talking about, like, we just had so many good discussions about leadership and like how we try to enact it in our own school. And then we were given all these examples of problems and what we would do to like step up and be a leader. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much. And then I've had six meetings with Tyler and Mrs. Stith and we've gone over like the ethical decision-making model and how we would, what we would do in each scenario. And then I'll fill out a scholarship in November. I'll write an essay about a time I've had to like be an ethical leader just in school or in my life in general. And then hopefully if I win, I'll get to come back in February of this year and I'll get to do the whole thing again. And then I'll get to, you know, receive a scholarship. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Maybe. I feel like that might be a definite. <laughs> wow. You're so accomplished. I'm sitting here and I'm just like, I remember when you were just a little freshman yeah. coming to my room. Just yeah, being you taking the ACT for like 12 times. Oh God. Yeah. Did you hear last week? No. Last week we talked, um, to Alina, uh, I'm going to butcher her last name. I can't believe I got it right. There yeah. we go. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were talking about ACT scores and how I took it like five times. Oh, my god. And gosh. I was trash at it every time until the <laughs> very end, and then I did really well. But my goodness. So you're so – I mean, I'm just I'm just sitting here in shock, but like not at all because you're amazing. So <laughs> my question is – no. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Um, what is something I guess you do currently, right? Um you had an exciting summer, well, exciting two years, three years, four years, <laughs> and then you, you know, are very successful in school as well. Yeah. What do you do in your free time if you have any? I, I mean... really don't have free time. I work at <laughs> <laughs> I work at a whip de do, so I'm normally there a lot of the times. But we close in November mm-hmm. and um, we open back up in February, so I have a three month break where I have free time. Oh my so um, I joined the ski club last year. I had a lot of fun doing that. I, I have never skied before. It was a lot of fun. It was interesting. I definitely cannot snowboard. Um, mm. I tried snowboarding there, and it was not pretty. I fell over a bunch. I actually tried to snowboard in my backyard, too, and I crashed through a fence post, and I snapped it in half. So I had to oh. repaint that the next summer and refix it. But I like to ski and snowboard. Um I like to, like, I have a dog, and I always like to walk her and just, like, be outside Mm -hmm. and just stuff like that. I play the piano. Um, I played it since kindergarten, so just little stuff like that. Do you juggle, too? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I actually can't juggle, but I have tried. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. So with homecoming coming up, is this, like, you mentioned across country kind of having that Mm -hmm. moment of, like, the last time around. Is that really starting to settle in now that, like, this is is the last stretch for you? It is. It was definitely, like, when I finished that first meet, I was like, I'm not going to run at this course anymore. Like, Mm. I'm done. And it's, like, slowly started seeing, like, I need to appreciate, you know, every – 
nine mile run I have to go on, every ice bath I have to go through because it's all going to be worth it. And it's like the last time I get to do this stuff, but definitely homecoming for sure. I got to, I picked up my last dress a couple, like maybe two weeks ago. And I was like, and I don't get to do this again. Like this is, you know, your last homecoming. Mm -hmm. And like me and my friend, I think Maddie, I think we're going to go as like princesses because the seniors kind of dress up. dress up. Yeah. Costumes. We were trying to come up with ideas, but we couldn't find like dresses we liked that matched the outfits. So we picked dresses we liked and then just try to plan it out. Yeah, I like that. (laughs) But it's, yeah, it's really setting in like this is your final year, like each day, like you're done, like you're not coming back, but it's, it's sad, but I'm also happy. I'm excited to go to college and stuff like that. I don't think I've really thought about (laughs) like seniors and like the, cause I mean, I remember when I was a senior, like 500 years ago, like I was just, Oh, I know. I'm sorry. (laughs) But like, I I don't think I ever thought like that. I was like, Oh, I'm just gonna like, it's the next phase. Mm -hmm. But I like that you're taking your time and appreciating it. Like, I feel like that not a lot of people do that Um, because it really does go by and then you're like wow because a lot of kids I mean not to sound sad or anything I'm like really sad right now but I'm so (laughs) excited for you but like it is really crazy to think that like uh, you know this is your last senior year but you're always welcome to come back and say hi I will when you're when you're famous (laughs) and you're a geneticist like and all this stuff from Washington D.C. yeah yeah. I'll be I'll be be reaching out to you and be like hey do you remember me I'm like 80 (laughs) now (laughs) (laughs) that's so exciting though i've like submitted i I applied to like four colleges like ohio state's that's the school i want to go to so Mm -hmm. if i I don't get into that one those are kind of like backups Mm -hmm. but um i think once i hit that final submit like once i hit that first submit button i met like i was like okay like this is real i gotta start planning for next year i gotta start filling all these scholarship steps and everything and that's that's actually what i have been doing my free time trying to fill out like scholarship applications trying to get as many as i can you can get some weird ones out there yeah there are like uh the duct tape dress yeah you hear about that yes you make your own like prom dress out of duct tape like the it's a decent amount of money submit it and then it yeah Yeah. it's crazy how did you end up choosing ohio state as like that you know that that's the one you want to go to um what made you decide so this could sound bad it's just far enough away from my house that i'm okay with it (laughs) like university of cincinnati is kind of close both Mm -hmm. my grandpa or my mom's grandparents went my mom's parents went to mm-hmm. Ohio state. So I've always like kind of been drawn to that school. And then a lot of my friends go there. So I reached out. I was like, Hey, would you guys like mind giving me like unofficial tours? And like, they just led me around and I just like the big campus like vibe I just loved. And it just like, it perfectly fit my major. Cause other schools like have a similar degree, but only like three colleges in Ohio even have that masters like UC case Western mm-hmm. Ohio state. So I was like, I wanted to stay at Ohio state. And I just like, I don't know. I love the atmosphere. I've been up there like a couple of times the past, like, you know, two years, just like checking it out, making sure I like the feel for it. And I just kind of, I was like, yeah, this is where I want to go. I love that. My sister went to Ohio state as well. Mm-hmm. And I went to Ohio university down in Athens. And I mean, I'm not even kidding you. Like my her senior year, my junior year, I would drive up every weekend to go visit her. And mm-hmm. every time I'd go visit her, she'd be like, hey, let's go out to eat. And I'd be like, okay, let's do it. Where do you want to go? And she'd be like, hey, I know this Thai place. But uh, like I said, every weekend, it was the same Thai place. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you got to choose some new food or some new <laughs> options. <branch> out. <laughs> yeah. So just letting you know, there's a lot of good Thai places. Okay, that I'll look you. that up. <laughs> but, Try to get a dorm close to that. <laughs> oh, my God, right? And then Raising Cane's. There's so much fun stuff. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So I love excited. Columbus in general, yeah. Yeah. I went to that small school. I never had that problem. (laughs) We had like, what, five restaurants, I think, on Main Street. But I also think there's classes at Ohio State that like your freshman lecture ones, like those real basic ones, I think those are bigger than where I went for undergrad. (laughs) Like the Um, whole school, period. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know those lecture hall, like Bio 101, where you have like 2,000 kids in there? When I was at Roanoke, it was less than 2,000. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, I, yeah, like on the tours, you get to go into some of the classrooms, and I was in there, I was like, I can't even imagine like seeing this place filled. Like the mm-hmm. general education requirements yep. classes are insane. Because <laughs> everyone's got to take them. Yeah. And they have a lot of like, you know, students that are go there. Right. You have what, like 10,000 freshmen? Yeah. Maybe not that much. I, I, mean, I, I thought it was you, more. Was I thought it was more. I think it was more this year. Yeah. My 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 cousin Grant um, Palti, he's amazing. And he also went to OSU and he's there now. And sometimes I'll get the occasional text from him and I'll be like, hey, like, how's it going? And he's like, I live literally cannot talk to you. My eyes are filled with caffeine. Like I, he's like, uh, 
I'm going to butcher whatever his is. It's physics and it's all this crazy stuff. Everybody chose science and you know, I'm an English teacher. Yeah. So my whole family's <laughs> science people. And I'm like, la di da, let's talk about bugs. So like, <laughs> it's, 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 but anyway, I, I love OSU. It's such a great mm-hmm. location and such a go, good school. Professors are great. Football so, season's amazing. Oh, I love can't football. go wrong with football. Oh, my I, love, I love watching their games. I like, I'm really going to, I got to go to like one of their preseason games mm. a little while back, but I don't normally get to go up on game day because Saturdays, cross country me days. But um, I'm like, I'm so excited for that atmosphere because I love watching their football games. Like, on TV and stuff like yeah. that when I can. What I know this might sound weird, but like, do you think? I know college is like a far way away, but like when you're done with college, do you think you'll stay in Ohio? I think I probably will stay in Ohio. Mm-hmm. I don't really have plans to move elsewhere. I would probably stay honestly around Columbus. They got some big hospitals there that I yeah. think would be good, and you know I I like that. I like I don't know I like big areas. Mm-hmm. It's kind of let's Ohio State's a big college, so it's good. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, it's a big school, and you have enough health systems between Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati oh, yeah. that yeah you'll you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. God. I'm so proud of you. I just want you to know that, like, this is awesome. I, I don't really always get to hear about the updates of my students when I had them as freshmen. And then sometimes I'll hear your guys' names and I'll see you guys. Like, I remember seeing you on the bike trail just running with your whole team. And I was like, hey, Mackenzie, yeah, what's going on? And you're, fun. like, sweating. Like, I know. But I, I just I, I love it. And I, I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure your family's proud of you. Thank and yeah. Like, the school is proud of you. Oh, my God. I just – I might start crying. <laughs> I need to calm down. This is like making me so sad. <laughs> well, Mackenzie, we appreciate you coming in early yeah. after your CCP lunch hour. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Thank you for having me. To chat with us before you head off to, to French class. Mm-hmm. So best of luck. Congrats on all the honors. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Girl State and Girls National sound cool. And I'm really glad I know what they are now. That's, I know. That's my bad. <laughs> now I got to be like, oh yeah, congratulations next time. Whoever wins that opportunity next yeah. time. But you amazing. Thank you. Yeah. 